Alright, before I start this video, I know you guys are probably looking at the title right now thinking to yourself, Matt, why is this guy so negative? Like, I honestly think Madden Mobile 20 is a good game. It's much, much, much better than Madden Overdrive. Um, and I think it's actually a, a decent game. I, I'm, I've been having a lot of fun playing the game. I'm not gonna lie. You know, the, the game, it, it's not bad, alright? It's not bad. But this video is mainly addressing um, what EA needs to fix, what EA needs to work on, and, you know, what things that I feel like EA could do better to make the game even better, alright? Before I start this video, guys, make sure you guys leave a like on this video and share it across everything so hopefully someone from EA can watch this video and improve their game because we all want the game to be better. So without further ado, I mean, shoot, let's get straight into it. I gotta pull up a notepad. That's when you know I did my freaking research. I'm gonna run down all of these uh, game modes on your screen right now. Uh, but let's go into seasons, okay? I think programs and master series, pretty good. You know what I'm saying? Pretty good additions to the game. I'm gonna compliment EA on that, alright? They did well. Seasons. Now, they hyped up seasons a lot. You know what I'm saying? You guys know the live streams that they were doing on Twitch. They were hyping up seasons a lot. Everybody was excited for seasons because, wow, you can make trades. You can do this. You can do that. Uh, only problem is you can't actually make trades. You can accept trades and decline trades, but you can't make trades. You can't actually customize a trade to a CPU team. And the CPU team can't go, oh, I don't like that trade. You didn't meet this, this, this. Or, oh, I like that trade. Let's do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's none of that. Um, which kind of sucks because that was kind of the main point of trading. You know, I still like the concept of being able to pick a team, um, kind of give it a franchise mode look, but honestly, if you guys could improve it, I'd say put in customizable trades um, to CPU teams and more people will play season mode, all right? Um, and also improve the rewards. I feel like the rewards, if the rewards were a little bit higher, people would be playing season mode too. But next up, we have competitive, all right? Competitive, um, overdrive. Just, just take it out. I, like, I, I don't know why this game mode is still here. It's the worst game mode EA has ever released. And the only reason I could really think of why Overdrive is still in the game is because I feel like EA is trying to hold on to their dignity. You know what I'm saying? Like EA named the whole game after this game mode last year. And so they don't want it to you know, seem like a flop, even though it is a flop. They didn't want to seem like it was a flop. So they put the game mode back into this game. There's no point in you playing this game mode. You get XP. I guess it's cool getting the packs. You get whistles and captain patches, useless currencies. I don't see a reason why this game mode is still in the game. Take it out. Whereas Arena, on the other hand, really good game mode. Go play Arena, okay? If you're a head-to-head -head player, go play Arena. That's a good game mode. Go play Arena. Um, don't play Overdrive. The Overdrive is just trash. Just take out Overdrive. There's no point in keeping it in, guys. Like, EA, we get it, man. Madden Mobile Overdrive, or whatever it was called, Madden Overdrive, was a flop, okay? We can all just move past it. Just take out Overdrive from the game. We don't need it here, all right? Next up, Leagues. Now, I actually do feel like EA really, really improved Leagues this year. I like the League store. I like help requests. I like the concept of all that. Um, I have a couple problems with leagues though. Uh, one improvement I I'd advise EA to do though is if they could improve um, league versus league auto search. If you could just auto search a different team after you play a tournament, that would be cool instead of having an admin or uh, one of those captain, I don't know, what, commissioner, admin, whatever whatever they're called. One of the, one of the leaders of the league, all right? Um, have to like manually do it. That would be awesome. And another thing that you guys should do is auto correct the lineup. So if somebody doesn't play their drives, just bench them for the next game. I I feel like that would be per uh, that'd be perfect. You know what I'm saying? That, that would just take a lot out of it for me. I wouldn't have to freaking always do this league versus league. Check who freaking didn't play the drives, memorize their names, go back, bench them, and then forget some of them. So I had to go back and check again, come back and bench those guys. You know what I mean? I hopefully you guys can just automatically just boom, 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 bench, 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 search. That's all you had to do. All right, maybe have a screen pop up like of the final lineup, like confirm, and then you press confirm, and then it searches. That would be perfect for me. All right, so uh, I hope that works. I don't know how we're 2,000th in the world. We're 11 and 3, but we're not going to talk about that, EA. Anyways, moving on. All right, let's go to my team. Nothing really much in my team besides these uh, captains and coaches, but hey, you got to ask like CHF or something about that, man. I don't know nothing about that. All right, I don't play this freaking game. I just, I just want packs and snipe, you know what I'm saying? Um, next up, now sets. Now we're getting into the juicy part of the video, all right? Sets. You know, there's actually quite a bit of good sets. I, I, I like some of the things that they did this year. For example, 75 plus packs, 80 plus packs. You guys know I love elite player packs, um, 75 plus packs. Those are really, really good. I like those sets, man. But I do have a problem, okay? First of all, let's go into coin collector sets while we're here. Th there's no point in this set. I mean, you might as well just bring back large quick sales and trophies. Like, seriously, what is the point of this set? The max you can get is 100K and you're getting 20,000 plus coins for a set that probably costs uh, 100k. So, 
why would anyone do the set? Like, why? I, I, I don't under, under, understand it. I just don't get it. What's the point of the set? I mean, shoot, like, yeah, it's cool if it was up to one mil. I guess I could see some people doing that for crazy, you know what I'm saying? Because there's upside, but there's no upside to the set. In fact, there's no upside to any of these sets. All of these sets are trash. So, you, you know what I'm saying? Just bring back large quick sells. 5,000 to 1 million coins. You only can get 5K, 10K, uh, what is it? 15K, 25K, um, 50K, 100K, 200K, 250K, 500K, and 1 mil. That's all you should be able to get. I, I, I think that should be the concept of large quick sells slash coin collector sets, whatever. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. They need to fix that. That's a problem. Um, another problem I have uh, with sets is they're not specific enough based on collectibles for example if i go into uh let's say madden today and let's say i go into like a phenoms player right let's say i go uh i don't know marquis brown look i need 35 of these phenom offensive badges and 70 of um or not 70 like 10 of these 70 plus offensive players i don't have a problem with the offensive players part are you sure you know that, that, that's a that's what you want to do go ahead that, that, i have no problem with that the problem I have is with these collectibles. You know, I wish they had more of those players where you had a specific collectible, like, uh, I don't know, some, some specific collectible. Like, I wish those collectibles were also tradable um, so you guys can make coins off of these sets. That's the key thing I wanted in this game, that the uh, ability to make coins off of these sets. Now, obviously, you guys can grind for these collectibles, but I'd rather be able to reflip my collectibles, and if I snipe my collectibles for cheap enough, complete the player set, and then sell the player for more than how much I bought the collectibles for, you know what I mean? Like, that would be really cool. Um, also, having specific collectibles means more uh, opportunities to snipe on the auction house, which would be cool for everyone. Everybody would be playing. Um, opening packs would be better because you can then pack a collectible, which would go for a lot, so you can get excited over that because it's like packing a good card, you know what I'm saying? Except it's a collectible, but the collectible is for a lot. So hopefully they include more uh, specific collectibles. An example of this is when they had the Legends uh, promo out a couple years ago, and they had all those different Legend collectibles like the Vince Grill for collectibles, you know what I mean? You guys know what I'm talking about, John Elways and all that stuff. Um, when they had those collectibles, and you would be able to snipe those off the auction house. Hopefully, they improve that and they add more of those. Obviously, I'd love if they had added trophies, but I don't see that happening in the near future. But now let's move on to the store. Um, I don't really have a lot of complaints about the store except the fact that there aren't uh, too many cash packs. There's too many cash packs. I do like the concept of gems because the gems do give us an opportunity of buying bundles and these, you know what I'm saying, these promo packs but i wish i really do wish they had coin options for these all madden packs and all pro packs um it would just like the only pack you can buy with coins is pro packs like i, I don't i don't like that concept um i wish you could buy all pro packs for 40k once again and i wish you could buy all madden packs for um i think it was like 200k or 100k 150k something like that it was something around that um, I wish you could do that again because that would be a lot more fun for the players that you know what I'm saying don't grind for gems just snipe out of auction house aka me all right <laughs> it would it would make a lot of sense um, if you guys could do that for us but I do like the concept of gems I'm not gonna lie gems is a pretty smart move it's a good currency to have um, it's pretty simple as well um, and it's pretty simple to get these gems it's just the fact that they don't have coin packs in the, in the store for premium packs um, I don't really like that and they have too many cash packs okay too many way too many cash packs um, so hopefully EA fixes that in the future now finally what you guys have all been here for auction house Okay, there's a lot of fixes I feel like they need to make on the auction house first of all thank you for bringing sniping back okay I just want to start off auction house by saying thank you EA for bringing sniping back you have brought back the whole Madden mobile community or at least most of us okay um, you know what I'm saying we love sniping we really do love sniping all right we love sniping ways we just like sniping in general okay thank you for taking away uh, price caps because that was much appreciated or at least you think i think you guys took out price caps because freaking my boy juan has been dropping crazy cards but first thing I, I hope that they fix i don't i'm not really sure if they fixed it or not because i haven't been playing the game much the last couple of days hopefully they fix this is bid sniping now obviously i see the 93k ronnie hudson 137k for Keanu Neal, uh, but as you guys can see, not a lot of these players are going for buy now. Not a lot of these players actually get the opportunity to get bought now because EA just bids on them. EA has a bot that just bids on players that they feel like are worth their price. Uh, for example, if the player, if I listed up a player for 100k and I listed his starting bid for 99999, EA would bid on the card for 99999 one hour with one hour left on the auction like it just doesn't make any sense um just buy the card or i don't know like i, don't, I just don't like that concept of bid buying it, it, it and nobody else buying the card um that's kind of dumb to me hopefully they took it out because so far i don't see anything like that 
on the auction house um but maybe it's just because i don't see any of it but hopefully they took that out already um uh, next up uh there are no specific rounds i do like that because then you can constantly make coins but i also don't like how ea haven't made an announcement on that yet um it's not like it, it's kind of informal it's not official and i there's just no rounds this year usually every year there'd be a five minute uh, interval where pretty much a new round of player or a new batch of players would drop on the auction house and then you would be able to snipe all of them and you'd wait five minutes and you'd snipe again but this year it just players just drop they just drop like flies um there's no specific announcement on uh what the concept of that is on the auction house so we're just assuming that they just drop like flies and they just drop whenever players list them and another thing is um servers there's no specific announcement on servers there's no way to check um i remember before you can check with like christian hackenberg or whatever uh you can check your server uh if it's 999111 means your server 1 999222 your server 2 etc um but this year there's no official announcement on servers as well so hopefully ea clarifies that up for us in the future and also the last thing i wanted to address in this video which i already addressed earlier was there are no collectibles for sale there's none collectibles for sale it'd be cool if they had collectibles for sale i mean i guess they have like these elite trophies um like these hall of fame trophies um and these superstar trophies and flashback trophies but it's just it's it's, it's it's not the same man. it's just not the same elite trophies gold trophies bronze trophies silver trophies bring back uh, legend collectibles bring back game plans you know what i'm saying just bring back those collectibles those would be worth sniping that would be a lot of fun all right but look i don't have i mean these are just things i feel like ea can improve on all right I actually really like the game this year. I really like the game. I think it's a good game. But yeah, like I said earlier on the video, leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you guys are new. Share the video across all the platforms so EA can see this video. Hopefully they improve um, the game after this video comes out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I'm out.